There's two things that I miss in my life. My dead dog and Kay's cooking. She's not dead. I've just not watched her in a while. That makes it sound like I'm looking through her windows or something. But by the way, she does cook. I wouldn't be surprised if she's passed away. You may have seen her on the channel before where we had a look at her spaghetti bolognese or I think it was called a different spaghetti bolognese. It certainly was different. So today we are back and we'll be looking at my wonderful Kay's cooking. Now last time we had a look at her, I did say if we hit a certain light go, I would buy a Kay's cooking sports bra and I think it's safe to say we hit that light go. I don't know how I look, I can't see myself, but when I watch back this footage I'm ever going to be turned on or I'm going to throw up. I can just see what I look like in a tiny reflection and I look like a WWE wrestler. I hope you are enjoying this because I'm not. Now just like her food, we're going in raw. Uh, I, I, I have no idea, I'm just going to click on her channel and see what title intrigues me, which if you've had a look at her channel, they all intrigue me. She's actually got two channels, Kay's Cooking, no merchandise, Kay's Cooking, merchandise. She gets very angry about merchandise apparently. And she's got that Kay's-Cooking-2.Creators-Spring.com. If that doesn't look like a website off the dark web, I, I don't know, know what, what does. does. To be fair, I paid 50 quid for this, I might as well have got it from the dark web. Kay's Cooking only accepts payment in Bitcoin. <laughs> Potato pancake, or in Scotland, is called a tatty scone. If you've ever had one, unreal. If you've not, try it. If not, go and die in a corner. I, I have to click on this one. Tuna crunch. I, d I don't know why she's holding it like she's taking a selfie. Let's watch tuna crunch. Happy. All right, you've changed some of my settings. I get it. Cool. Happy, and I'm back today. I'm not cooking. You're she's not cooking. Did you say? Happy, and I'm back today. I'm not cooking. You're, you're not cooking? What is this then? Don't tell me this is a brand deal. She's been given tuna crunch to like promote. I've been asked to do a tuna crunch sandwich. Oh, oh, she means not cooking in the traditional oh. sense with a frying pan. See what you did there. Okay. I've been through loads of things and it doesn't crunch. Cucumber didn't crunch. Peppers didn't crunch. So the only thing I can think is... I'm sorry, how does cucumber not crunch? Has anyone ever bitten into a cucumber before? <laughs> That's just in case you've not bitten into a cucumber before. That's what it seems like. Probably some crisp would do it. So, let's try this one. As you can see... Can you see... Put your glasses on, Kay. You might get to see what you're doing. Right. I, what I don't think that helps Kay's cooking is the 2004 camcorder that it's filmed on. Because the way these are filmed, it looks, once again, it looks like something you'd see in the dark web. This does not look like this was filmed in 2024. This looks like it was filmed in 2004. And in case you don't know, normally her son films these videos, or boyfriend or husband, I don't really know yet. All I know is that his name is Lee. Put Lee up on the screen there. Look at him, beautiful. But I wouldn't be surprised if Lee's filming this with one of these bad boys. Don't know why when I hold this, I feel like I'm about to film like a, a skateboard montage or something. Yeah, go on, surf, surf, gr grind that pole. Jesus, Lewis, that sounded like you were filming a gay porno. Grind that pole, that's a new one. You can't see. So, shall we move things up a bit? Right. Now that bread cake. Oh, don't tell me you call it a bread cake, K. I had so much faith in you. It's a roll and it's nothing but a roll. It's not a bath. It's not a butty. It's not a... Some people call it a muffin. Yes, some people call it a muffin. I'm not joking. It's a roll. It's nothing but a roll. If you want to call it a bath or whatever, cool. But muffin, I will not allow anyone to call it a muffin. And I know there's someone watching it right now that calls it a muffin. If, if you do, you disgust me. Yeah, you can see the bread cake. Bread cake is like the most like... Midlands thing to call a roll. Uh, what should we call this? It looks like a bread cake. <laughs> Shoot, what jump? Well, it says tuna chunks. So, oh. Why is mushrooms in my recommended? Don't tell me Kay's cooking does like a magic mushrooms episode. All right, guys, today, today we're not we're cooking. cooking. We're taking magic mushrooms. So there's no. Oh God, why is that tuna like yellow? Why has it got the colors of the rainbow in that tuna? Doesn't tuna just pink and pink only. I will say it's... I want a gag. Tuna is one food that I've never tasted and I never plan on tasting it. Put that within a 10 feet radius of me and I'll die. One of my mates used to have tuna sandwiches at school lunches. He used to spit it all over my face. I've been scared of them ever since. Kay's cooking needs two things in life. Help 
and HelloFresh. I've never known someone that would benefit of HelloFresh more in my life. HelloFresh is great. I've used it for years. It was a bit intimidating for me at first because I'm a fussy eater. If you've seen me try eat vegetables, you'll understand. But it's actually helped me so much and I'm not just saying that. It's made me try loads of new foods, Indonesian, Indian food, even Mexican. For example, tonight I had chipotle black bean enchiladas. It was great. It was never something that I would have thought of trying before HelloFresh. It all comes with instructions as well and it labels out one, two, three, four, so it's very hard to go wrong. It's very easy. All you do is pick your meals for that week and then it comes every single week straight to your door. I, I don't really leave the house much. So the fact that this comes right to my doorstep is great because most of the time my fridge is empty because I forget to go to the shop. I've actually been such a big fan of HelloFresh for years so I actually love working with them. So if you want 60% off your first box and 25% off the next two months, use code LEWISB24 or go to hellofresh.co.uk slash LEWISB24. There's also a QR code right now on screen that you can scan to make things a bit easier for yourself. Kay what do you think? That's lovely that. Actually, that's quite nice that. Exactly. So that'll be the first link in the description down below. Please do check it out. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. No juice in it. And I'm going to put it in a jug. Uh, no, in a dish. <laughs> oh, not the scraping sound. Not the scraping sound. In a dish. And I'm going to mix it round. Until today, I don't think I've ever been able to smell a video until I watched this video. Now, I don't like salt and pepper on my tuna. I thought she was going to be like, now, nah, I, I don't, don't like, like tuna. tuna. <laughs> so that is tuna on the bread cake. I can see that. Now, let's get to the exciting part. Oh, did you hear that crunch? Yeah, I, I, I heard that, all right. That, that was a crunch, crunch. That was a crunch crunch. That was a tuna crunch, if I've ever heard one. Oh, dear. So now it's just going to be for the taste test. I forgot to show you. I actually forget how small she is. Like, she is just taller than the door handle. Do you know how small you have to be to be the same height as a door handle? Now it's for the taste test. Listen for the crunch, because I've been told it needs to crunch. <laughs> Why is this like Bevo trying to eat something? I'm ready for her just to go. We made a video on Bevo in case you don't know who he is. He nearly dies every time he swallows. <laughs> well, it crunched just a little bit, but then again, I only bit the side of it with the crisp I, I, you know what Kay, I do believe that it crunches I could, I, I, I could hear it no need to justify yourself, it's alright someone's posted a, a, a poem in Sheffield there's a cook named Kay whose recipes bring joy every day through her food may be just alright her fan thinks it's out of sight with a spatula in hand she creates delicious dishes that satiate. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. I did not um, go to university. I did get a B in English, but that's, that was kind of the pinnacle of my um, education. education. Now, this is the one that she got most famous for. I don't know if I've seen this one before. The special fried rice. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking. Oh, God, maybe she did take magic mushrooms. She's very energetic today. Well, this was five years ago, so not really much. I've put some oil in. It says two tablespoons, so that, as you know, I've got dessert spoons. So I'm just, I've put uh, three in just to... She needs to do like a GoFundMe so we can get her like a new camera. But then again, this like old camera quality that's like two frames per second is kind of what adds to the flavour of the videos. Not so much the food. Compensate for it. And now I'm going to chop some garlic up. Like, I don't know if the food would look better or worse if it was a high quality camera. Do you know, like, when you get a new phone for the first time and then you open the front camera and you're like, oh my God, do I actually look like that? I didn't even know it was humanly possible to have that many blackheads. Yes. That's how I feel like it might, it might feel. Why is Cody Cole commented a month ago, looks delish? That can't be right, can it? Me when I cook anything. Why, do, why does it look like a piece of shit? It doesn't look like that in the recipe. And it says, I have the ham. Oh, that was a jump scare and a half. Is that ham and egg yolks? That is grim. That looks like someone you'd get as a shot and I'm a celebrity. Welcome to the Boost Trucker Trial. That was my best Ann and Deck impression. You know, great, you know, great. That's not right, is it? Well, I'm just doing as it said. If it's wrong, I'm doing it wrong. If it's right, I'm doing it right. Yeah, that's a good attitude, Dave. Go on, Kay. You do you, bestie.
It looks delicious. Just look at that. Mwah. It's like a, a nice carbonara meets a packet of rice. Oh my, that spoon has been through the wars. Look at, look at the bun marks on that. That spoon's going to need skin grafts. The garlic has now turned black. That, oh, that was the garlic. That's the garlic that's turned black. How, how, did you cremate it? I must have skipped. I thought that was beans. I thought that was beans. I thought, do you know where you get the odd rice packets that have beans in them? I, I, I thought it was beans. Black beans, to be specific. No, uh, that, 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 them black bits is garlic cloves. If you know what garlic cloves are, well, first of all, you should, but they should look like that, not this. Does this look like special fried rice to you? No, it. It certainly does look special. Okay, special. She's got that magic touch. She's got that Midas touch. Whatever food she turns, uh, turns to black. Not gold, black, as we can see by the garlic. So I'm going to add the peas now. There's not much water in them peas, but I'm going to add it because, like I said, I think we need a bit more juice in it. Yes, what you all do when we need a bit more juice to it, we add peas. Size of them peas, by the way, they look like grapes or olives. I think they're looking a lot better now. Yeah. Yeah, that, that definitely looks a lot better now. Yeah, yeah. Need it cooking. Um, so all right, let's get to the taste test. Right, Lee's going to do the taste test. That's, that's also a giveaway for Kay's cooking. You know, when she doesn't taste it herself, she just gives it to Lee. And then look at Lee's face, he never looks happy. He never looks happy, he always looks really sad. And then Kay, the little Kay, will just always look at him like this as he nearly dies. So let's watch. My predictions is Lee's going to bite it, chew it and go, that's alright. Spoon on the fork, but I just... No, I want to the fork, but whatever. Ah, I don't matter. Yeah, it's not bad. Say it, say it. What? You can't taste the garlic. <laughs> I could have told you. That garlic was dead. I didn't even know garlic turned black if you left it in that long. It can, but very... Faint. Yeah. Yeah. Um, rice a bit crunchy, but... Crunchy rice. Bro added Rice Krispies in there. That's all I can say, the peas are nice and soft. Oh, they're soft? Mm. Oh, well, that means it's done because it just said to warm the peas. So, so yeah, nice thumbs up. Good. Nice, thumbs up. No merchandise. She loves just putting merchandise or no merchandise. We need to buy more merchandise. If this 50 quid sports bar wasn't enough, we need more. What else does she have? A mug, an apron, a bucket. We need a bucket. If this video gets 4444 four, four, four likes, I will buy the case cooking bucket hat. Yep, I'll do it. I will do it. Making a pizza. Now, we reacted to pizza on toast last time, and it was potentially the most cursed thing I've ever seen in my life. It wasn't pizza on toast. It was beans and tomato on a piece of bread. Well, and I'm back cooking. And today I'm she has an unfathomable amount of Iron Maiden t-shirts in her wardrobe. People and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be baking a pizza. <laughs> right, first of all I'm putting I'm making my own sauce. So I'm putting the garlic in. Oh god, not again, Kay. You've murdered enough garlic cloves already. Garlic are not even living animals and I still feel bad that they're being murdered. Put into pieces of charcoal. It'd be good for firewood, I guess. Oh my word. And that's two. Now what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to mix that, I'm going to put it all in... That looks like my toilet bowl on a night out. Well, not anymore. I don't drink anymore. But when I was, you know, in my teenage years, I that, that definitely represented my toilet bowl. All in the blender, blend it up, and then I'm going to make the pizza. As you can see, I've put some salt. That's a lot of salt, Kay. <laughs> but it's, it's not salt, it's flour. Well, I hope so, anyways. And some flour in. And... Oh, shit! <laughs> See, this is why I love cake cooking. Raw, unfiltered, just like her foods. That's it, I've opened it. Ouch. And I'm going to put... Ooh! Is she blindfolded? I know we can't see her, but the way she's reacting, it's like she's blindfolded with this. You know them cooking challenges that YouTubers do where they're like blind... Is, is this one of them? It's about a spoonful, that's what it needs to be. Well, okay, at least you'd prefer too much than too little. At least that's what every sexual partner has told me.
Looks in this. Is this supposed to be dough, by the way? This on a baking tray, and I'm going to slap all the stuff that's on it. Oh, that doesn't look like a piece of dough. It looks like the map of Russia. That's a joke for all you geography nerds out there who know what the map of Russia looks like. That was together, that was connected. So what I would do, yes, like I said, slap it on a baking tray, put it in the oven, wait stuff on it, and blah, blah, all that stuff. Right, I'm... We skipped a bit there. Comes out. Both the pieces. Got... What a jump scare! And also, I think that I'm I'm getting some memory issues because I swear we've watched this video before. I don't remember much. I just remember burnt pizza. Let's get to the taste test. Now is the taste test. Now that is bloody lovely. No, she's, she's not, not going to say that, that, is she? Just says like pizza. Get her. Get her on Master Chef. It has uh, caramelized fennel, sauteed uh, chanterelle and bluefoot mushrooms, beautiful black mission figs. Um, the sauce is a reduction of cream. It's done with a sherry wine and balsamic vinegar gastrique. Just tastes just like pizza. Right, there's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise. Right, let's see if we can get this right. If you like what you... Now, there is one thing that I just need in my recommended. Spicy pancake. Surely that's not a thing. How do you make a sp spicy pancake? Long as well, you, you just chuck some, some spice, spice in it. it. Yeah, probably, but who has a spicy pancake? Who? Case cooking, that's who. She probably sells them as merchandise. Hi, Hi people. people. I'm back cooking again. And today, I'm going to be doing spicy pancakes. I don't like where this is going. What's she going to add to it? Don't tell me it's going to be like chilli powder or something. Oh my god, this video's got timestamps as well. Intro, recipe, taste test. Salt in. Some pepper in. And I'm going to... Is it just a pancake with salt and pepper? Is that what it is? I'm going to use the eggs. Right, now I'm going to... I love the cut so much. I, I don't know what camera she uses, but I want to know. It's like she uses bandy cam for a camera, if that even makes sense. I just realised most of you are probably too young to know what bandy cam is. If you do know what bandy cam is, fair play to you. Crack my eggs, and as you know, I am no good at cracking eggs. I believe in you. I believe in you, Kay. Come on, let's do it, bestie. Yeah, there you I go. I don't know if that didn't go too bad. There you go, sweetheart. And now the second egg... Why does she call them pegs? It sounds like a slur. It sounds like a slur for like white people. Hey, what are you looking at, you peg? Now I'm gonna add some garlic and chili sauce. I was not expecting that. I don't know why. I thought that was caramel sauce, and I was gonna be like, oh, that could be quite nice. And now we are disgusting in sugary way. No garlic and chili sauce in a pancake. I can't imagine that tasting nice at all. Surely that's just an omelette. I do love her uh, like community. They're all just so wholesome. She has to be like one of the most like loved UK creators. As usual, your presentation is impeccable. Who could resist? As you see, you eat with your eyes first. Well, Alan Ferguson, let me have a look for myself. That does not look nice. That looks like that looks like Ali Oli. <laughs> I did not mean to skip that much. I literally just meant to skip because all we were doing was stirring, stirring, stirring. And I've ended up here. Kay, how did this happen? How did this happen, Kay? Alan Ferguson in the comment section was right. The presentation was impeccable. Right, as you can see, I'm to cook. Oh, there was no explanation. That was just it. She was battling some demons off camera there. I don't know what went on there. It looks like Edward Scissorhands tried to pick up the pancake. So a different ring i've cut it up and it's gonna be a thing yeah but it's still a pancake now still a pancake no matter how much he's been destroyed he is still a pancake that's not body in the poor pancake it's the taste test oh we just got blue balled of a kids cooking taste test and she's been replaced by lee right let's get tasting this then actually i'm not looking forward to it but how how dare you, you rats? Don't come on the camera ever again. You're not looking forward to it. I'd be honoured to taste Kay's cooking. Honoured. Honoured. Oh, whatever. No, oh, God, I can Probably overpowering, actually. Kay's cooking is so damn good that it's overpowering. You heard it here first from Lee. Taste is nice. Not nice. Not what that is. Taste is nice, 
garlic's a bit overpowering, not spicy at all. Okay, are you taking that? Are you taking that? You've titled a spicy pancake. Not spicy at all. I wouldn't be having that if I was UK. You just know she's underneath the camera just stabbing and punching him. If you listen close enough, you can hear the, the chains dangling off his legs. Sorry. Which I am shocked. Probably need a bit more um, spice in it. But yeah, apart from that, thumbs up. Right, Lee said he liked him. Uh, my attempt to make him... Well, you know what, Kate? I liked it, and that's all that matters. My approval was the only approval you need in life. Like I said, if that hits that like, oh, I will hit the bucket hat. I hope you like my sports bra. I like it. I, I think I do. If you want to watch my other video on Kate's cooking, click here. Thank you. Bye-bye.